Today's video is based on the problems related to the initial value theorem and this topic is from Z transforms. So in order to find the values of f of 0, f of 1, f of 2 and f of 3. So here are the formulae to be noted. So for f of 0 limit z tends to infinity capital F of z and for f of 1 limit z tends to infinity z power 1 capital F of z minus f of 0 and for f of 2 limit z tends to infinity z square into capital F of z minus f of 0 minus z inverse into f of 1 and for f of 3 limit z tends to infinity z cube into f capital F of z minus f of 0 minus z inverse into f of 1 minus z power minus 2 into f of 2. So using these formula we are going to solve the most important problem related to the initial value theorem. So this is if f of z is equal to 5z square plus 3z plus 12 by z minus 1 power 4. So we have to find the values of f of 2 as well as f of 3. So first what is the f of z given? So f of z is given as this is 5z square plus 3z plus 12 by this is z minus 1 power 4. And see here, if I take z square common from this, so this will be 5 plus 3z by z square plus this is 12 by z square clear by this value. If I take z common from this, this will be z power 4. 1 minus 1 by z power 4. Now if I cancel this, so what remains here? z square remains. So what is our f of z? So our f of z value is nothing but this is 5 plus this is 3 by z plus this is 12 by z square by this value is z square into 1 minus 1 by z power 4. Clear? Now we, are, we have to calculate f of 0. So f of 0 for f of 0 this is nothing but limit z tends to infinity this value is f of z. So now see here if I substitute in this formula so f of 0 is equal to limit z tends to infinity what is our capital F of z this is 5 plus this value is 3 by z this is 12 by z square by z square into 1 minus 1 by z power 4. So if I keep z is equal to infinity in these, so as you know that 1 by infinity is 0. So clearly this is 1 by infinity, so which this, which is equal to 0. Therefore we got the value of f of 0 as f of 0 as 0. So later we have to calculate the value of f of 1. For finding f of 1 and again here is the formula. So for finding f of 1, so f of 1 is equal to limit z tends to infinity. This value will be z power 1 capital F of z minus f of 0. So if I substitute here, this will be f of 1 is equal to limit z tends to infinity. This is z power 1. What is our f of z? f of z is nothing but 5 plus this value is 3 by z plus 12 by z square by this value is a z square into 1 minus 1 by z power 4 minus f of 0. So what is our f of 0 value? Clearly it is 0. So if I substitute 0 here then see now f of 1 value will be limit z tends to infinity. This value is z times of this is 5 by 3 by z plus this is 12 by z square by again this is z square into 1 minus z power 4. And if I cancel this for one time and substitute infinity in place of z. So again this will be infinity. So 1 by infinity the value here is 0. So we got the value of f of, n, f of 1 as 0. So here f of 0 is equal to 0, f of 0 value is equal to 0 and again f of 1 value is also 0 and let's, let's start with f of 2. So what is f of 2 value? So f of 2 value will be, see here, limit z tends to infinity, limit z tends to infinity, this will be z square capital F of z minus f of 0 minus z inverse into f of 1 clear 
z inverse into f of 1. So, this is f of 2 value is equal to this is limit z tends to infinity. This is z square. What is our f of z value here? So, f of z value is nothing but see here. This is 5 plus 3 by z plus this value is 12 by z square by z square into 1 minus 1 by z power 4 minus what is f of 0? f of 0 value is 0 minus z inverse into f of 1 value is again 0. So, what remains here? So, our f of 2 value is equal to limit z tends to infinity. This value is z square times of this is 5 plus 3 by z plus this is 12 by z square by this is z square into 1 minus z power 4. So, if I cancel these two and substitute infinity in place of z. So, as you know that 1 by infinity value is 0. So, f of 2 value will be if I substitute this will be 0, this is 0 and this is 1 minus 0 power 4 and therefore we got the value of f of 2 as 5 since since 1 by infinity value is equal to 0. So, we got the value of f of 2 as 5 and later we have to find out the value of f of 3. For finding f of 3, so what will be the formula? So, we know that f of 0 value is equal to 0 clearly. So, we know that f of 0 is equal to 0 f of 1 is equal to 0. See here, it's very clear. f of 0 is equal to 0. f of 1 is equal to 0. And here, f of 2 is equal to, see, f of 2 is equal to 5. And we know the value of f of z. So, what is our f of z from the question here? So, f of z is equal to, from the question, it is 5z square. See here, 5z square plus 3z plus 12 by z minus 1. Power 4. So, this value is nothing but 5z square plus 3z plus 12 by this is z minus 1 power 4. And now, see here, I am going to calculate f of 3. For finding f of 3, what is the formula here? So, for finding f of 3, so this is z cube limit z tends to infinity. So, this value is f of z minus f of 0 minus z inverse into f of 1 minus z power minus 2 into f of 2. Clear? Now, if I substitute this one, so f of 3 value will be, f of 3 value will be, this is limit z tends to infinity. This value is z cube. What is our f of z? This is 5z square plus 3z plus 12 by z minus 1 power 4. And f of 0 value is 0 and this value z inverse into 0 minus z power minus 2. What is f of 2 value here? See here, f of 2 value here is 5. Clear? Now, f of 3 value is equal to, this value will be limit z tends to infinity. This is z cube times of, this is 5z square plus 3z plus 12 by z minus 1 power 4 and this is minus 5 by z square. Now see here, so f of 2 value, f of 3 value will be, this value is limit z tends to infinity, z cube into, so if I take LCM, this will be z minus 1 power 4 into z square. So if I cross multiply, so this will be z square into, this is 5 z square, plus 3z plus 12 minus 5 times of this is z minus 1 power 4. Clear? And now we have to solve this and substitute the value of z as infinity. So, f of 3 is equal to, this is limit z tends to infinity. This is z cube times of, see here, this is z minus 1 power 4 into z square. So, clearly this is a z square plus 5z square plus 3z plus 12 minus 5 times of. So, this can be written as z minus 1 square whole square. So, if it is z minus 1 square, so this will be a square plus b square minus 2ab whole square. And in the next step, if I expand, so this will be f of 3 is equal to 
limit z tends to infinity this is z part 3 and see here this is z minus 1 power 4 into z square and this value if I multiply here this is 5z power 4 plus this is 3z cube and again this is 12z square minus 5 times of. So if I expand this one a plus b minus c whole square. So this will be a square plus b square plus c square that is 4z square plus 2ab. So this will be 2z square and next this is minus 4z and this is again minus 4 this value is z cube clear now if i multiply so f of 3 value will be limit z tends to infinity this value is z cube and see here if i multiply the numerator this will be 5z power 4 plus 3z cube plus 12z square minus so if i multiply with minus 5 this is minus 5z power 4 this is minus 5 minus 20z square this is minus 10z square plus this is 20z and this value is again plus 20z cube by by this value is z minus 1 power 4 into z square clear and next if we solve this one so I can cancel this one these two and again uh, searching for z cube so this is 20 plus 3 so this will be 23 so f of 3 is equal to this is limit z tends to infinity z cube and this value is 23 z cube and searching for z square see here this is 12 minus 8 minus 18 so this is minus 18 z square and this value is 20 z so this is 20 z and for constants see here this is minus 5 so this value is minus 5 by this is z minus 1 power 4 into z square now see here what happens so this value will be see f of 3 is equal to so f of 3 is equal to limit z tends to infinity clear so this if uh, if you take z cube common from this this will be z power 6 and this is 23 minus 18 z square by z cube plus this value is 20 z by this value is z cube minus 5 by z cube in the numerator and see here in the denominator if i take z power 4 common so, and this is z square so this will be z power 6 1 minus 1 by z power 4 clear and see now i can cancel these two and substitute in place of z as infinity so f of 3 is equal to this value is limit z tends to infinity this is going to become 18 by z this is 20 by z square minus 5 by z cube by 1 minus 1 by z power 4 clear so this is cube so we know that since 1 by z is 1 by infinity is 0 this is 1 by infinity 1 by infinity 1 by infinity and again 1 by infinity so f of 3 value will be 23 minus 0 here also this is plus 0 minus 0 by 1 minus 0 power 4 so we got f of 3 value so f of 3 value is equal to 23 and clearly see clearly what is asked f of 2 value and f of 3 value are asked so what is our f of 2 value so f of 2 value is very clear as 2 as so 5 here and f of 3 value is equal to 23 and this is how we have to substitute and solve thank you so much for watching and this is most important repeatedly asked a question um, related to initial value theorem so if you understand this one please practice and pass it on to your friends and i will be uploading few questions related to this uh, theorem thank you so much